Now hit day four of the strike against General Motors. Today it seems the escalating war of words between the UAW and GM has settled down a bit. But is that getting us anywhere as far as progress? Here's what we know so far. Both sides went back to the negotiating table at 8 a.m. today. Still no word on any potential breakthroughs that could get workers back on the job. But now the massive supplier network starting to get anxious as this drags on. Rod Maloney following, for us, uh, following this for us tonight. Uh, Rod, the union is hinting, I guess, that there's a long way to go here. Well, Devin, a, a letter just came out in the last hour from UAW Vice President Terry Dittus to the membership. He had a good news, bad news scenario. Good news, they're making progress. They're getting somewhere. He says that the teams are working very hard. The bad news and the most telling part of the letter is that he says, quote, the process of meeting in subcommittees and main tables will continue this weekend and beyond if a tentative agreement is not reached. They don't have one of those yet. So they're hinting and getting everybody ready to spend the weekend on the picket line. We are the union. We are the union. Mighty, mighty union. Picket lines remain in front of all of the several dozen UAWGM facilities from coast to coast. The enthusiasm has yet to wane. We make the company millions and they don't even show any kind of gratitude for that. So and that's why we're out here. Now that we're into day four of the strike and GM's losses run into the hundreds of millions of dollars, there's pressure building for that deal. But labor relations expert Dr. Arthur Schwartz tells us in a strike where even the union admits it didn't have to happen, getting a deal became that much more difficult. Yeah, well, it's very easy to, uh, to take people out on strike. You just tell them to go on strike. It's a lot harder to bring them back, and that's because expectations go up. The rank and file are watching closely, anticipating that windfall, a return of much of what they gave up during the GM bankruptcy. And that is why Center for Automotive Research Analyst Christian Dijic believes getting a better deal is going to be very tough and is going to take a while. Always comes down to the things that are the economics. The core economics are base wage increases, how many employees, what are the product guarantees, what's healthcare going to be. The things that cost a lot of money, you can't solve one of them until you solve all of them. And, you know, that's the weight mm -hmm. of the deal. Mm -hmm. Which means it's a very weighty deal that they've got a lot of work to solve. Now, we talked about suppliers last night. 1,200 Unifor Canadian auto workers ended up uh, getting laid off in Oshawa. I'm told that the plant that is next door uh, that builds cars is about ready to run out of parts. They did build today. We're still watching that. And next year, which is a GM supplier, uh, they make steering uh, components and they have a big plant up in Saginaw off of I 75 if you go up there often. Uh, they're now preparing their workforce to be. Uh, to perhaps shut down in the next day or two. And you're going to have to wait and see where all of that goes. Devin, back to you. So we got just a little bit of, uh, of what we have so far really came from the union side. Anything coming out from GM tonight? So far, GM is not saying anything, but I think that that's what this is truly all about. you got the union saying, okay, guys, we're going to be here a while, and the company sitting back and saying, let's just get this contract done and get it over with. So this weekend, Monday, Tuesday, next week, that's what we're starting to get yeah. the impression of because there's so much heavy lifting to do. Seems so. All right, Rod.